the real cool guy. Hey everybody, Jason Huggins, the real cool guy here. And I got a comment on my pop and click removal video for Adobe Audition CS6 that I didn't do things quite as clearly as uh, you might have liked. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a follow-up video that really digs into exactly what I'm doing and how to do everything that you need to do because I definitely don't wanna leave you without clarity. So I've recorded some audio in Adobe Audition CS6. You can see that we're sitting in the spectral view. Um, that can be toggled right here. Uh, after you record by hitting D or, um, and I set that up as a D by going to uh, edit keyboard shortcuts. And then right here, you can type spectral display <clears throat> and then go down here to toggle spectral frequency display. And that will toggle whether you sh whether you see the spectral frequency display or not. Um, I have that set as D. You can change your keyboard shortcuts however you like. This is just how I wanted to set it up. I am using for recording uh, this Razer Nostromo. Um, uh, this is a really cool controller that I use. Um, it helps. Um, for me, I was having hand issues when I was trying to use just the keyboard all the time. Um, when I was get, I was getting pain in my hand. And so I got a hold of this thing. It works really fast and it worked really good. So um, you can change keyboard shortcuts like that. Now, what I have, uh, so when that, that would look like that. So basically, I'm hitting D and that pops that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove pops and clicks, and I'm going to talk exactly about how to do that. So I'm going to zoom in. The way that I have zoom set up right now is scroll. So basically on my touchpad, um, which is what I use because, again, my hand uh, and the mouse, it's the same thing as if you use a scroll wheel on the mouse, um, but I will zoom in and out like that. It's a really fast way to do things. Uh, let's not do anything over there. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit and this little section here I recorded uh, before and it has a lot of like noise in it so listen to this don't just update your status now did you hear all that noise in there don't just update your it's all smacking and stuff when I recorded that I put the microphone like this and I got my face all up on it like that so that it really made a bunch of pops and click noises um, normal mic technique would alleviate uh, some of that but not all of it so what we're going to start with is when you have a pop and click in a silent section. Now, um, the easy way to remove a pop and click in a silent section is just by highlighting it and then doing the auto heal technique. So you can highlight that section right here um, and then come down and I will right click on that and then go down here and you have auto heal selection. So you can click on that and that will get rid of that little little chunk there. Now, the other thing you can do is I have, as you can see, set up auto heal as F. So for me, I don't, um, I don't use the, um, I don't right click and then go down there and do auto heal selection. I will just highlight the audio and hit F and F will auto heal that selection. And basically what auto heal does is it analyzes the audio and it, and it makes a determination as to what audio you want to keep and what audio you want to get rid of. And that really works well uh, when you're removing abnormalities from audio. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, it works really awesome. So don't now you can hear that there's nothing there. So now we got some um, audio here that is uh, that has some pops and clicks inside words. Don't just update. Your, so you could hear right there. Don't just update your. There's right here. You can see this right here, and this right here is a pop, and then again right here, there, and there. Now, because these aren't exactly in the middle of a word, you could, like was done before, highlight that and then hit the delete key, and that would delete that chunk of audio. Just update your... And that would get rid of it. I'm going to hit undo, which is control Z. Um, and, uh, but, but if you want to re if you want to maintain the timing of your audio, then you absolutely want to use, um, auto heal instead of just deleting. Now for auto heal, all you have to do is select that abnormality in the audio and then hit auto heal, which is the F button. Now that gets rid of that, but it leaves everything else intact. Same thing right here. You can see right there is a little abnormality. You can highlight that and then hit F and that gets rid of it. Up don't just update your and that there's a little bit here that's still like a that's a like a like a pop that I made just update but we're not going to deal with that on this one <laughs> same thing right here now there are two other ways that you can get rid of that one of them is by going up here and using the lasso selection tool so before we did the full spectrum select which basically selects the entire spectrum of audio over here 
Um, but what the, the lasso tool allows you to do is to highlight just the section, exactly the section that you want to get rid of. And then when you let go, you can see it's just like in Photoshop when you have highlighted a small, a small section of something. So now this is the only thing that's selected. It's not going to affect the dark areas around here. And then you can hit auto, you can either right click and go to auto heal, or you can let do like I do and hit F. And that will get rid of that little pop right there. Date your now I'm going to go back here and undo that status so that you can see the other way to do it. Now, if you go right here to the spot healing brush tool, I have it set up as B. Uh, that might be B from default. I'm not sure. Um, but you can paint this selection here. Um, it's a rather large selection. Um, and so normally I wouldn't do this with this tool. You can paint that and then let go. And that will automatically auto heal that small section because that is the auto the spot healing brush tool now let's take a little listen to the rest of it date your status upgrade it now there's some more audio that right here you can see there's pops and clicks so i will highlight that and i will hit f now you can do that with the big section here highlight that hit f that gets this, rid of it upgrade it get your degree from kaplan university the now you can hear right here in the middle this section right here is also a little bit of a pop now this is a great place to use the spot healing brush tool or B where you can highlight just that little chunk there that was a pop and then this little chunk right here which you can see and over time you'll start to know what is a pop and what's not and get rid of that from Kaplan you and that that got rid of it you can hear I'm gonna undo it three from Kaplan you, you hear that <laughs> noise um, you can also just highlight that and hit F and it will do exactly the same thing from Kaplan depending on the audio sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does so um, sometimes you can use that spot healing brush tool sometimes you can use the selection tool sometimes you can use the big selection tool most of the time I just highlight and I hit F all right that's it that's how you remove pops and clicks from audio in Adobe Audition CS6 using a number of different cool uh, different tools if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or uh, shoot me an email. Um, TheRealCoolGuy.com has all of my information, and I would be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks. Until next time. The Real Cool Guy.